Good morning, everyone. As we begin to prepare for our upcoming ELD lessons, which will take place in Google Classroom, and then when we transition back to in-person, uh, there's going to be specific expectations that we're going to follow for our class. So I've created this online Google form for you, everyone to review. And I just wanted to go over this. Uh, everyone will be required to take this and before we begin. So if you just, we're just gonna review this for a little bit. Um, as it says in the instructions, <clears throat> excuse me, please take a few minutes to read the following statements below. Although classes will be virtual, this does not mean uh, traditional standards and class expectations will be lowered. So basically what that means is even though we're going to be online, does not mean that it's going to be easier, right? We still have to focus on our reading and improving our writing skills. Uh, you'll still be expected to complete assignments and that's what this is going to go over for a little bit. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll just put your first name, last name. So what you'll do is you'll check each statement to signify that you understand and agree, okay? So the first statement says, I understand that all my assignments for ELD will be available in Google Classroom. So you'll just select yes. Um, it's basically, as it says, everything will be online. Now, we could have a hybrid, which all that means is could be a mix of online and in person. So uh, remember everything that we do for our class is for a grade and you will get credit. So it's important that you keep up with the assignments and uh, complete them what, uh, despite what location they may be. Uh, statement number two, I'll make sure to log into Google Classroom and check for any work or assignments at least once a week. <clears throat> These assignments may change in their delivery. So, for example, we may have a video up one week and you'll be responsible for logging in, watching the video and completing the lesson. It is up to you to do that. So, I can only give you the assignment. It's you'll have to find time. Now these assignments and lessons are not gonna be extremely long. So if you can find time, at least I would say Monday or Tuesday, that way you'll know the assignment and how much work will be required so you can finish it. I would not suggest logging in uh, into Google Classroom on Friday at three o'clock in the afternoon. Even then, if you're gonna need help, it's gonna to be too late. Uh, the next statement, if I'm confused about anything in Google Classroom, I'll contact my teacher either through Google Hangouts or Google Mail. So this is important. If you need help, you are available to email me or send me a, G a, G a Google uh, email or a Google Hangouts message. <clears throat> For those of you that have already gotten in contact with me, you'll know that I respond pretty quickly. I have my phone on me typically all day. Um, so email, I check throughout the entire day. I have it up usually. I'm available and it is important that if you need something that you contact me. If you don't understand an assignment on Monday, and then wait until Friday at 12 o'clock in the afternoon to ask me a question. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be able to give you between 12 o'clock and four when it's due, right? Uh, I understand that each week there will be an assignment that will be graded. If I do not complete the work, I will receive a zero for the week. So every weekly assignment will be for a grade. And again, if you do not complete it, you're gonna get a zero. and uh, most of these assignments are, uh, 
they're not extremely difficult, but they do require you to do some work. So uh, make sure you keep that in mind. The next statement, if I need to speak to Mr. Lopez one-on-one, -on -one, I will pick a time during his online office hours, which we, which will be available in my Google Calendar. So this is important. Um, what we have, what I have set up is what they're called appointment times. And I'll go over this. I'm gonna shoot a different video later for this. But if you'll see here, it's gonna be at particular times in the, uh, during the morning and afternoon session to meet with me. So we'll adjust that as we go back to in-person, uh, but we will find something. It'll be a, a period where people who are online only can still talk to me or see me or ask questions, even if I'm at school. <clears throat> Next statement, when posting the online discussions, I will not use any sort of profanity or negative remarks towards my classmates or the teachers. Uh, this is very important. I know online disc online uh, discussions are much different than in person. People seem to feel more free to say what they want. While that may be true, we will still uh, act in a manner that is respectful to everyone, despite what we may be discussing, reading, or writing about. The next statement, I understand that it is my re my responsibility to contact teachers during the tra traditional workday time if I have any questions. So again, this is very important. As most of you know, and some of you already are, uh, adults, it is your responsibility to reach out to the teacher, right? If you have trouble with an assignment, you contact me or any of your teachers really, and let us know if there's something wrong. Again, do not expect to contact me at Friday, on Friday at two in the afternoon and expect any sort of response. This goes also with respect to people's time. I could have a training. I could be, I could have a doctor's appointment. I could have anything. And so as soon as you find out you need something, please reach out to me and we'll work around it. The last statement, if I need help with any sort of online mastery test in Edmentum, it is required that I take the test at a minimum of three times and have spent an average of at least 45 minutes on the exam. I'm also required to provide a copy of the notes for this specific test. So this is something that's very important. I often uh, get questions from students that have, uh, where they're asking me for help on some sort of mastery test, which I'm able to give. My only requirements are these, now I can go online and check uh, to see how many times you've taken it. I can also see how much time you've spent on it. I can see how much time you spent on the tutorial. Uh, I can see just about everything. So it's important that you remember that I, if you come to me and say, Mr. Lopez, I need help with this test. I will say, sure, I will go online, find your information check to make sure that all three of these are satisfied. And if they're not, I'm gonna tell you to go back in. Um, it's important, the reason I do all this is simply so that, to make sure that you guys are at least trying uh, an honest effort on your own before you get help, okay? The whole point of these tests, again, is to make sure you've learned the material. Uh, having a teacher come in and tell you the answer, uh, you know, that does nothing. So I will also, if you see in this last section, will ask you to give me a copy of your notes. Most of the time I'll be helping students is with English. And in both, I believe in all three or four English classes, 
you're able to print off uh, guided notes and complete them. That will work. Um, if you want to take your own notes and you want to share a picture of them, that'll work as well. Uh, really, I'm just checking to make sure that you have something to prove that you made an attempt, an honest attempt, <clears throat> to progress through the material. Okay, so again, these are just a few statements and these uh, and expectations for our class and for myself. Um, I expect all my students to adhere to these guidelines. Um, these are required. And again, they will change and sort of evolve as we transition back to in-person and uh, both a hybrid for those students who are still online or will continue to be online. But I just wanted to review these. This will be an assignment. This will count as one of your first grades. So when this is posted, please be sure to read each statement and select the answer uh, accordingly. Now, if you feel that you have a question and you aren't comfortable responding until you discuss with me, because as you can see, there is not a no option. Uh, and you can see right there, it's telling you, you have to basically answer it in order to submit it. Uh, then please email me. We will discuss it privately and then we'll figure something out for you. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, this will be our, one of our first assignments for the year. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to email me, contact me, and I will get back to you accordingly. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful day and I will speak to you uh, shortly. Bye-bye.